gangster. All right, so this video is gonna be pretty interesting. One sec, I just gotta do that one more time. <laughs> All right, so actually, it's funny because the controller looks beautiful, but I, I'm, about, I'm actually about to roast this controller completely. So uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs> Um, I wanted to review this controller for you guys. I thought it would take more time, but it, it definitely isn't gonna take more time because this controller is going back. It's going back to Google and it's staying back at Google. They actually offered me another one and I said, no, thank you. Um, and I love Google, you guys know that. Pretty much everything I've, I've done on this channel has you know, been revolved around Google and I'll continue to support them, but I won't support this controller. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Is it a good first try? Yeah, it, it's a good first try. And it looks, it looks pretty nice. Although when you get it in person and you actually put it in your hand, there's something about it that you're just gonna feel is a little bit underwhelming. When you hold it, it just kind of feels like you got this blob in your hand and it doesn't really, it doesn't feel like they really thought about it that much. So that's the first thing. Now the major thing and you know how I'll start and basically end this video on <laughs> is uh, every time I, this controller would vibrate, it would disconnect from my PlayStation. Or, whoa, as you could see, I'm a little bit uh, new to Stadia, but basically it would disconnect to, uh, to Stadia. And I thought it was just a bug. I contacted Google, we, we resetted the controller, we did, we did everything we had to do. It still wasn't working. And basically, it has to go back. Now, so for, for those of you who maybe, maybe I went a little fast, but every time I jump in Destiny, it, it causes a vibration. And every time that vibration goes on, my controller disconnects from the computer. Um, every time I shoot, it causes a vibration and it'll disconnect from the computer. So I know what you're thinking. What's the point of having a controller that doesn't work? And that's exactly the point. There's absolutely no point of having this controller because it doesn't work at all for me. Now, is this gonna be the case for everyone? No. I know someone who has this controller and they're having no issues with it, but this particular controller is no good for me and it's going back. So I, I, I'll keep this, this video going a little bit longer just because I want to address a couple of other things. But for those of you who, who want to know if you should buy it, the quick answer, and I'm not wasting your time like any other YouTuber, don't friggin' buy it. Uh, don't buy it, wait for the next version. I think the next version, they'll get it, they'll get it right. They're, they were close, they made a couple of errors. Now, if you want to know what those errors are, stick around and subscribe because I won't be doing another video on this, but I, as you can see, I'm pretty honest. And if you like honest reviews and you like Google products and other tech products, uh, you know, you're in the right place. And if you like water as well, I live right by the water, so you'll like that too. But anyways, so I, I did a quick first impressions video on this and, and I commented on the buttons. There's some I like, there's some I don't. Overall, I don't have any issues with the buttons, but I did notice something. And, and actually, I, I should have took it out earlier, but I'm gonna pull something out that some of us will know and some of us won't forget, but this is the PS3 controller. And the, I, I kind of realized what I don't like about the Google controller, it's that um, these buttons are a little bit mushy and these aren't. And it kind of gives you like a different feeling, like the buttons just all feel a little different. Whereas on this controller, the buttons feel pretty much all the same. It feels like they just took the lazy approach of just like being like, oh, we, we, we have one button type, oh, it feels good, let's use it for every single button on the controller. And they all have the exact same feel and it's just a little boring. So also the L2 and the R2, I thought they were gonna annoy me more because they don't have any resistance, but they didn't annoy me as much as I thought because whenever you uh, use them, they just vibrate more. So when you shoot with R2, it vibrates more and it kind of makes you still feel like you have that resistance. Um, the thing is, is every time this controller vibrates, uh, it disconnects from my computer. So, I mean, it's, it's not for me, this controller. And, and the reason it's not for me at the end of the day, could I have gotten a lemon? Yes, but I never had this issue and I've had maybe 10 to 20 PlayStation remotes in my life, never had an issue, I still have them all. And this is my first Google controller and problems. So I'm gonna wait till they, they figure their stuff out and until then, 
I won't be using it. And I'll continue to use this 10 year old PlayStation controller, whatever you want to call it, 10, 15, I don't know how many years. Definitely not new like this one. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it guys. If you uh, if uh, you have any other questions about the controller, I will be sending it back tomorrow. Um, I wanted to do a giveaway on this controller, but there's no point because it doesn't work. So unfortunately, until next time guys, 